Electrical impedance is the measure of the opposition that a circuit presents to a current when a voltage is applied. The term complex impedance may be used interchangeably. Quantitatively, the impedance of a two-terminal circuit element is the ratio of the complex representation of a sinusoidal voltage between its terminals to the complex representation of the current flowing through it. In general, it depends upon the frequency of the sinusoidal voltage. Impedance extends the concept of resistance to AC circuits, and possesses both magnitude and phase, unlike resistance, which has only magnitude. When a circuit is driven with direct current DC, there is no distinction between impedance and resistance, the latter can be thought of as impedance with zero phase angle. The notion of impedance is useful for performing AC analysis of electrical networks, because it allows relating sinusoidal voltages and currents by a simple linear law. In multiple port networks, the two terminal definition of impedance is inadequate, but the complex voltages at the ports and the currents flowing through them are still linearly related by the impedance matrix. Impedance is a complex number, with the same units as resistance, for which the SI unit is the ohm. Omega. Its symbol is usually Z, and it may be represented by writing its magnitude and phase in the form, Z, θ. However, Cartesian complex number representation is often more powerful for circuit analysis purposes. The reciprocal of impedance is admittance, whose SI unit is the Siemens, formerly called MHO. Introduction The term impedance was coined by Oliver Heaviside in July 1886. Arthur Kennelly was the first to represent impedance with complex numbers in 1893. In addition to resistance as seen in DC circuits, impedance in AC circuits includes the effects of the induction of voltages in conductors by the magnetic fields inductance, and the electrostatic storage of charge induced by voltages between conductors capacitance. The impedance caused by these two effects is collectively referred to as reactance and forms the imaginary part of complex impedance whereas resistance forms the real part. Impedance is defined as the frequency domain ratio of the voltage to the current. In other words, it is the voltage current ratio for a single complex exponential at a particular frequency ω. For a sinusoidal current or voltage input, the polar form of the complex impedance relates the amplitude and phase of the voltage and current. In particular, the magnitude of the complex impedance is the ratio of the voltage amplitude to the current amplitude. The phase of the complex impedance is the phase shift by which the current lags the voltage. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Complex impedance. The impedance of a two-terminal circuit element is represented as a complex quantity Z display style script style z the polar form conveniently captures both magnitude and phase characteristics as z equals z e j arg z display style z equals z e caret j arg z where the magnitude z display style script style z represents the ratio of the voltage difference amplitude to the current amplitude while the argument arg z display style script style arg z commonly given the symbol theta display style script style theta gives the phase difference between voltage and current j display style script style j is the imaginary unit and is used instead of i display style script style i in this context to avoid confusion with the symbol for electric current in cartesian form impedance is defined as z equals r plus j x display style z equals r plus j x where the real part of impedance is the resistance r display style script style r and the imaginary part is the reactance x display style script style x where it is needed to add or subtract impedances the cartesian form is more convenient but when quantities are multiplied or divided the calculation becomes simpler if the polar form is used 
A circuit calculation, such as finding the total impedance of two impedances in parallel, may require conversion between forms several times during the calculation. Conversion between the forms follows the normal conversion rules of complex numbers. Topic complex voltage and current To simplify calculations, sinusoidal voltage and current waves are commonly represented as complex-valued functions of time denoted as V and I V equals, V, E, J omega T plus phi V, I equals, I, E, J omega T plus phi I, display style begin aligned V and equals, V, E caret J omega T plus phi underscore V, I and equals, I, E Carrot J omega T plus phi underscore I end aligned. The impedance of a bipolar circuit is defined as the ratio of these quantities Z equals V I equals V I E J phi V minus phi I Display style z equals frac v i equals frac v i e caret j phi underscore v phi underscore i. Hence, denoting theta equals phi v minus phi i display style theta equals phi underscore v phi underscore i, we have v equals i z phi v equals phi i plus theta display style begin aligned v and equals i z phi underscore v and equals phi underscore i plus theta end aligned. The magnitude equation is the familiar Ohm's law applied to the voltage and current amplitudes, while the second equation defines the phase relationship. Topic: Validity of complex representation. This representation using complex exponentials may be justified by noting that by Euler's formula, cos omega t plus phi equals one two e j omega t plus Phi plus E minus J Omega T plus Phi Display style cos omega t plus phi equals frac one two big e caret j omega t plus phi plus e caret j omega t plus phi big the real valued sinusoidal function representing either voltage or current may be broken into two complex valued functions. By the principle of superposition, we may analyze the behavior of the sinusoid on the left hand side by analyzing the behavior of the two complex terms on the right hand side. Given the symmetry, we only need to perform the analysis for one right hand term. The results are identical for the other. At the end of any calculation, we may return to real valued sinusoids by further noting that. Cos omega t plus phi equals e j omega t plus phi display style cos omega t plus phi equals re big e caret j omega t plus phi big topic Ohm's law The meaning of electrical impedance can be understood by substituting it into Ohm's law. Assuming a two-terminal circuit element with impedance Z Z is driven by a sinusoidal voltage or current as above, there holds V equals I Z equals I Z E J arg Z display style V equals is equals I Z E caret J arg Z the magnitude of the impedance Z display style script style Z acts just like resistance giving the drop in voltage amplitude across an impedance Z display style script style Z for a given current i display style script style i 
The phase factor tells us that the current lags the voltage by a phase of theta equals arg z display style script style theta equals arg z ie in the time domain the current signal is shifted theta 2 pi t display style script style frac theta 2 pi t later with respect to the voltage signal just as impedance extends Ohm's law to cover AC circuits, other results from DC circuit analysis, such as voltage division, current division, Thevenin's theorem and Norton's theorem, can also be extended to AC circuits by replacing resistance with impedance. Phasers <laughs> 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 A phaser is represented by a constant complex number, usually expressed in exponential form, representing the complex amplitude magnitude and phase of a sinusoidal function of time. Phasers are used by electrical engineers to simplify computations involving sinusoids, where they can often reduce a differential equation problem to an algebraic one. The impedance of a circuit element can be defined as the ratio of the phasor voltage across the element to the phasor current through the element, as determined by the relative amplitudes and phases of the voltage and current. This is identical to the definition from Ohm's law given above, recognizing that the factors of E J omega T display style script style E caret J omega T cancel. Device examples Resistor The impedance of an ideal resistor is purely real and is called resistive impedance Z R equals R Display style Z underscore R equals R in this case, the voltage and current waveforms are proportional and in phase. Inductor and capacitor Ideal inductors and capacitors have a purely imaginary reactive impedance. The impedance of inductors increases as frequency increases. Z L equals J Omega L display style Z underscore L equals J Omega L. The impedance of capacitors decreases as frequency increases. Z C equals one J Omega C display style Z underscore C equals frac one J Omega C. In both cases, for an applied sinusoidal voltage, the resulting current is also sinusoidal, but in quadrature, 90 degrees out of phase with the voltage. However, the phases have opposite signs, in an inductor, the current is lagging, in a capacitor the current is leading. Note the following identities for the imaginary unit and its reciprocal J cos pi 2 plus J sin pi 2 e j pi 2 1 j minus j cuz minus pi 2 plus j sin minus pi 2 E j minus pi two display style begin aligned j and equiv cos left frac pi two right plus j sin left frac pi two right equiv e caret j frac pi two frac one j equiv j and equiv cos left frac pi two right plus j sin left frac pi two right equiv e caret j frac pi two end aligned thus the inductor and capacitor capacitor impedance equations can be rewritten in polar form zl equals omega lej pi 2 zc equals 1 omega cej minus pi 2 
Display style begin aligned z underscore l and equals omega la caret j frac pi two z underscore c and equals frac one omega c e caret j left frac pi two right end aligned. The magnitude gives the change in voltage amplitude for a given current amplitude through the impedance, while the exponential factors give the phase relationship. Topic. Deriving the device specific impedances What follows below is a derivation of impedance for each of the three basic circuit elements the resistor, the capacitor, and the inductor. Although the idea can be extended to define the relationship between the voltage and current of any arbitrary signal, these derivations assume sinusoidal signals. In fact, this applies to any arbitrary periodic signals, because these can be approximated as a sum of sinusoids through Fourier analysis. Resistor For a resistor, there is the relation V R T equals I R T R Display style v underscore text r left t right equals i underscore text r left t right r, which is Ohm's law. Considering the voltage signal to be v r t equals v p sin omega t. Display style v underscore text r t equals v underscore p sin omega t. It follows that v r t i r t equals v p sin omega t i p sin omega T equals R display style frac v underscore text R left T right I underscore text R left T right equals frac v underscore p sin omega T I underscore p sin left omega T right equals R. This says that the ratio of AC voltage amplitude to alternating current AC amplitude across a resistor is R. Display style script style R, and that the AC voltage leads the current across a resistor by zero degrees. This result is commonly expressed as Z resistor equals R. Display style Z underscore text resistor equals R. Topic capacitor. For a capacitor, there is the relation I C T equals C D V C T D T. Display style I underscore text C T equals C F R A C operator name D V underscore text C T operator name D T. Considering the voltage signal to be V C T equals V P E J Omega T Display style V underscore text C T equals V underscore P E carrot J Omega T It follows that D V C T D T equals J Omega V P E J Omega T Display style FRAC operator name D V underscore text C T operator name D T equals J Omega V underscore P E carrot J Omega T and thus, as previously, Z capacitor equals V C T I 
c t equals 1 j omega c Display style z underscore text capacitor equals frac v underscore text c left t right i underscore text c left t right equals one over j omega c. Conversely, if the current through the circuit is assumed to be sinusoidal, its complex representation being i c t equals i p e J omega t display style i underscore text c t equals i underscore p e caret j omega t. Then integrating the differential equation i c t equals c d v c t d t. Display style i underscore text c t equals c frac operator name d v underscore text c t operator name d t leads to v c t equals one j omega c i p e j omega T plus const equals one J Omega C I C T plus const Display style v underscore c t equals one over j omega c i underscore p e caret j omega t plus text const equals one over j omega c i underscore c t plus text const. The const term represents a fixed potential bias superimposed to the AC sinusoidal potential that plays no role in AC analysis. For this purpose, this term can be assumed to be zero. Hence, again, the impedance. Z capacitor equals one J omega C display style Z underscore text capacitor equals one over J omega C. Topic inductor. For the inductor, we have the relation from Faraday's law V. L T equals L D I L T D T display style V underscore text L T equals L F R A C operator name D I underscore text L T operator name D T this time considering the current signal to be I L T equals I P sin omega T display style I underscore text L T equals I underscore P sin omega T. It follows that D I L T D T equals omega I P cos omega t display style frac operator name d i underscore text l t operator name d t equals omega i underscore p cos left omega t right. This result is commonly expressed in polar form as z inductor equals omega l e J pi two display style z underscore text inductor equals omega la caret j frac pi two or using Euler's formula as z inductor equals j omega l display style z underscore text inductor equals j omega l 
As in the case of capacitors, it is also possible to derive this formula directly from the complex representations of the voltages and currents, or by assuming a sinusoidal voltage between the two poles of the inductor. In this later case, integrating the differential equation above leads to a const term for the current, that represents a fixed DC bias flowing through the inductor. This is set to zero because AC analysis using frequency domain impedance considers one frequency at a time and DC represents a separate frequency of zero hertz in this context. <laughs> Generalized S-plane impedance Impedance defined in terms of J omega can strictly be applied only to circuits that are driven with a steady state AC signal. The concept of impedance can be extended to a circuit energized with any arbitrary signal by using complex frequency instead of J omega. Complex frequency is given the symbol S and is, in general, a complex number. Signals are expressed in terms of complex frequency by taking the Laplace transform of the time domain expression of the signal. The impedance of the basic circuit elements in this more general notation is as follows. For a DC circuit, this simplifies to S. Topic zero for a steady state sinusoidal AC signal S. J omega. Topic resistance versus reactance Resistance and reactance together determine the magnitude and phase of the impedance through the following relations, Z, equals ZZ equals R2 plus X2 theta equals arctan XR display style begin aligned, Z, and equals SQRT ZZ caret asterisk equals SQRT R caret 2 plus X caret 2 theta and equals arctan left FRAC X R right end aligned in many applications, the relative relative phase of the voltage and current is not critical so only the magnitude of the impedance is significant. Resistance Resistance R is the real part of impedance, a device with a purely resistive impedance exhibits no phase shift between the voltage and current. R equals z cos theta display style r equals z cos theta quad topic reactance reactance x display style x is the imaginary part of the impedance a component with a finite reactance induces a phase shift theta Display style theta between the voltage across it and the current through it. X equals z sin theta. Display style x equals z sin theta quad. A purely reactive component is distinguished by the sinusoidal voltage across the component being in quadrature with the sinusoidal current through the component. This implies that the component alternately absorbs energy from the circuit and then returns energy to the circuit. A pure reactance does not dissipate any power. Topic: <laughs> Capacitive reactance. A capacitor has a purely reactive impedance that is inversely proportional to the signal frequency. A capacitor consists of two conductors separated by an insulator, also known as a dielectric. X C equals minus omega C minus one equals minus two pi F C minus one. Display style x underscore c equals omega c caret minus one equals two pi f c caret minus one quad. The minus sign indicates that the imaginary part of the impedance is negative. At low frequencies, a capacitor approaches an open circuit, so no current flows through it. A DC voltage applied across a capacitor causes charge to accumulate on one side. The electric field due to the accumulated charge is the source of the opposition to the current. 
When the potential associated with the charge exactly balances the applied voltage, the current goes to zero. Driven by an AC supply, a capacitor accumulates only a limited charge before the potential difference changes sign and the charge dissipates. The higher the frequency, the less charge accumulates and the smaller the opposition to the current. Inductive reactants Inductive reactants X L display style X underscore L is proportional to the signal frequency F display style F and the inductance L display style L X L equals Omega L equals two pi F L display style x underscore L equals Omega L equals two pi Florida quad. An inductor consists of a coiled conductor. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction gives the back EMF E display style math call E voltage opposing current due to a rate of change of magnetic flux density b display style b through a current loop e equals minus d phi b d t display style math call e equals d phi underscore b over dt quad for an inductor consisting of a coil with n display style n loops this gives e equals minus n d phi b d t display style math call e equals n d phi underscore b over dt quad the back emf is the source of the opposition to current flow a constant direct current has a zero rate of change, and sees an inductor as a short circuit it is typically made from a material with a low resistivity. An alternating current has a time average rate of change that is proportional to frequency, this causes the increase in inductive reactance with frequency. <laughs> Total reactance The total reactance is given by x equals x l plus x c display style x equals x underscore l plus x underscore c note that x c display style x underscore c is negative so that the total impedance is z equals r plus j x display style z equals r plus j x topic combining impedances the total impedance of many simple networks of components can be calculated using the rules for combining impedances in series and parallel the rules are identical to those for combining resistances, except that the numbers in general are complex numbers. The general case, however, requires equivalent impedance transforms in addition to series and parallel. <laughs> <laughs> series combination For components connected in series, the current through each circuit element is the same, the total impedance is the sum of the component impedances. Z EQ equals Z 1 plus Z 2 plus plus Z N Display style z underscore text eq equals z underscore one plus z underscore two plus c d o t s plus z underscore n quad, or explicitly in real and imaginary terms, z eq equals r plus j x equals 
R one plus R two plus plus R N plus J X one plus X two plus plus X N Display style Z underscore text EQ equals R plus JX equals R underscore one plus R underscore two plus C D O T S plus R underscore N plus J X underscore one plus X underscore two plus C D O T S plus X underscore N quad Topic Parallel combination For components connected in parallel, the voltage across each circuit element is the same, the ratio of currents through any two elements is the inverse ratio of their impedances. Hence the inverse total impedance is the sum of the inverses of the component impedances 1 Z EQ equals 1 Z 1 plus 1 Z 2 plus plus 1 z n display style frac 1 z underscore text eq equals frac 1 z underscore 1 plus frac 1 z underscore 2 plus c d o t s plus frac 1 z underscore n or when n equals 2 1 z eq equals 1 z 1 plus 1 z 2 equals z 1 plus z 2 z 1 z 2 Display style FRAC one Z underscore text EQ equals FRAC one Z underscore one plus FRAC one Z underscore two equals FRAC Z underscore one plus Z underscore two Z underscore one Z underscore two Z EQ equals Z one Z two Z one Plus Z two Display style Z underscore text EQ equals FRAC Z underscore one Z underscore two Z underscore one plus Z underscore two The equivalent impedance Z EQ Display style script style Z underscore text EQ can be calculated in terms of the equivalent series resistance R EQ display style script style R underscore text EQ and reactance X EQ display style script style X underscore text EQ Z EQ equals R EQ plus J X EQ R EQ equals X one R two plus X two R one X one plus X two plus R one R two Minus x one x two r one plus r two r one plus r two two plus x one plus x two two X EQ equals X one 
R two plus X two R one R one plus R two minus R one R two minus X one X two X one plus X Two R one plus R two two plus X one plus X two two display style begin aligned Z underscore text EQ and equals R underscore text EQ plus JX underscore text EQ R underscore text EQ and equals FRAC X underscore one R underscore two plus X underscore two R underscore one X underscore one plus X underscore two plus R underscore one R underscore two X underscore one X underscore underscore two R underscore one plus R underscore two R underscore one plus R underscore two carrot two plus X underscore one plus X underscore two carrot two X underscore text EQ and equals FRAC X underscore one R underscore two plus X underscore two R underscore one R underscore one plus R underscore two R underscore one R underscore two X underscore one X underscore two X underscore one plus X underscore underscore two R underscore one plus R underscore two carrot two plus X underscore one plus X underscore two carrot two end aligned. Topic Measurement The measurement of the impedance of devices and transmission lines is a practical problem in radio technology and other fields. Measurements of impedance may be carried out at one frequency, or the variation of device impedance over a range of frequencies may be of interest. The impedance may be measured or displayed directly in ohms, or other values related to impedance may be displayed, for example, in a radio antenna, the standing wave ratio or reflection coefficient may be more useful than the impedance alone. The measurement of impedance requires the measurement of the magnitude of voltage and current, and the phase difference between them. Impedance is often measured by «bridge» methods, similar to the direct current Wheatstone bridge, a calibrated reference impedance is adjusted to balance off the effect of the impedance of the device under test. Impedance measurement in power electronic devices may require simultaneous measurement and provision of power to the operating device. The impedance of a device can be calculated by complex division of the voltage and current. The impedance of the device can be calculated by applying a sinusoidal voltage to the device in series with a resistor, and measuring the voltage across the resistor and across the device. Performing this measurement by sweeping the frequencies of the applied signal provides the impedance phase and magnitude. The use of an impulse response may be used in combination with the fast Fourier transform (FFT) to rapidly measure the electrical impedance of various electrical devices. The LCR meter, inductance L, capacitance C, and resistance R is a device commonly used to measure the inductance, resistance, and capacitance of a component. From these values, the impedance at any frequency can be calculated. Topic example. Consider an LC tank circuit. The complex impedance of the circuit is Z omega equals J omega L one minus omega two L C. Display style z omega equals j omega l over one omega caret two l c. It is immediately seen that the value of one z display style one over z is minimal, actually equal to zero in this case. Whenever omega two l c equals one. Display style omega caret two L C equals one. Therefore, the fundamental resonance angular frequency is omega equals one L C. Display style omega equals one over sqrt L C.
Topic variable impedance In general, neither impedance nor admittance can vary with time, since they are defined for complex exponentials in which infinity. See also Bioelectrical impedance analysis Characteristic impedance Electrical characteristics of dynamic loudspeakers High impedance Emittance Impedance bridging Impedance cardiography Impedance control Impedance matching Impedance microbiology Negative impedance converter Resistance distance <laughs>